Well, I forget to forget to wake up and make a video about the noon games earlier today. And then I forget to make a video about the night games. So if you are a Pacific timer, congratulations. You're probably awake to see this video right now since uh, Washington and Oregon State are still playing. Shocker. I know. Teams in the Pacific still playing. And nobody is watching. It's kind of sad, really. but So... Kind of a recap for today. Uh, for those of you that watched the Squid Tar podcast that I did, saw all the games that I previewed, we covered a total of, we co I think we covered a total of about 28 games, or 26, I think, but three of those got postponed. We cover, uh, yeah. The only game that we covered that uh, got postponed after the podcast was Coastal Carolina versus Troy, so... We, I mean, it doesn't matter what I thought about that one because that won't happen for another week. But I will, uh, I will keep a hold of this so that I know going into the next week. Okay, then now, a lot of uh, a lot of you are probably wondering what what my record was overall on my picks for the day. Pick twenty three games last week. I believe I went fourteen and four. This week. After picking 23 games, 18 and 5. So, I mean, could have been way worse. So I'm not. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not too, not too angry about that. As for the games now, let me just let me just run through these. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go pick this up real fast. I'm I'm just gonna give a little uh. Just a little thought on all the games that I picked, and I'm probably gonna do this for the rest of the game, for the rest of the weeks going into the rest of the week. But let's see. Colorado State versus Boise. Boise won that one. I'm I mean, just who saw it. Everybody saw that coming. Iowa won against Minnesota. Not shocking at all. Uh, Minnesota just looks completely lost now, and uh, I mean. They're going to have to get it together eventually, but I don't know. What whatever happened, uh they, I mean they just got to I mean they got to get it together. Uh, had to readjust there. All right. I'm just going to skip some of these cuz you know, like some of the games which I had here, I just kind of knew was coming Cincinnati over Eastern Carolina. Yeah, shocker. I know. Uh Miami Golly, you all you almost lost you almost lost this one. Now I did hear some information about how there were a lot of starters out for Miami in this game, so I can't exactly blame y'all for that, but losses like these are definitely going to cost y'all any position in the playoffs or championship games, so you gotta get that worked out if you wanna have any chance of making the playoff or the ACC title. <clears throat> Indiana over Michigan State. No, I mean, not shocking at all. Uh, Marshall over MTSU. I like Marshall. I think they're a good team. I, I mean, you got to give them a lot of credit because they're actually they're actually pretty good. This one caught me off. Actually, I did pick Nebraska to win against Penn State, but I mean, I, I just wasn't expecting the absolute massacre that they gave Penn State. So. <clears throat> That means Penn State is sitting at 0 and 4 right now. It, it it's hard to tell who's going to get fired first at this point. And it, it's between Frank uh, it's of course between James Franklin and uh Jim Harbaugh at Michigan, so I mean, and we'll get to them. We'll get to them in just a minute. Rutgers, uh, if you watched the one earlier today, I picked Rutgers to beat Illinois. That didn't happen, so that was the first one I lost. North Carolina beat Wake Forest, but man, they struggled. Oh my gosh, that defense is awful. Sam Howell's really good, though, but the defense just looked completely lost all game. <sighs> West Virginia over TCU. Yeah, I saw that coming. Uh... Kentucky, I don't know what happened to you, but you almost lost to Vandy. And so, like I mentioned earlier, now i got to hear for a whole nother week about, Oh, we have Kyle Schumer! Oh, we're gonna, if we stop the run, we're going to whip Tennessee in a couple of weeks. So thank you for that, Kentucky. I appreciate that. Ah. <sighs> 
Notre Dame over Boston College. And Notre Dame actually won this one pretty big, so you got to give credit to Notre Dame for in that regard. Uh, let's see. USC over Arizona. But, oh my gosh, yeah, USC almost, uh, USC almost lost this one. It was a struggle all the way to the end. Virginia over Louisville, that one too. But, uh... Virginia came out on top. All Both of those I picked the right teams to win. Now on to the last group of teams here that I picked to the podcast. Stanford, what happened? Like, what? I thought y'all were going to be something this year. I was completely wrong on that. You lose to Colorado. Um, your offense just looks completely lost. I mean, they overwhelmed you. I mean... I don't. I don't know what happened. I really don't. But Stanford, you're not. You're not what I thought you were. Uh, depending on who you play next week, I'm probably picking you to lose. Uh, uh, that's just. That's just facts. Let's see. Hawaii. Hawaii. I can't say much about this game because honestly, I just picked Hawaii because they were the Tartarian playoff favorite, but. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. Hawaii went out and laid an egg against San Diego State. Florida over Arkansas. Shocker, I know. Uh, Florida, defense looking suspect per usual. But no, I mean, the offense did get it done. And I certainly do believe this. As much as I hate the fact that it's true, uh, Kyle Trask uh, should be in the Heisman race. And probably one of the four uh, top runners for it. So... It'll be interesting to see exactly where that will go, but yeah, uh, give a lot of credit to Kyle Trask. The dude's the dude's an absolute talent. Your fans may be the most annoying on planet Earth, but Florida is a talent, and I believe that they'll keep up with Alabama in the SEC uh, championship. So that's just my thinking. A lot of people disagree with that, but who knows? I might be right on that. Oregon over Washington State. Now, Oregon struggled, too, against Washington State. I was certainly hoping that Oregon would get knocked off of this one. Even though I picked them to win, it would have knocked them out of any playoff contention, which they probably are anyway. But Here's another one that I picked wrong. SMU, I picked them to beat Tulsa, and they went out and just completely laid an egg. SMU was one of those really good group of five teams this year, and then they just... I, I, I can't figure out what happened in this one. Um, it could be like Miami where they just had a bunch of injuries or uh, players out due to COVID reasons or anything else. Because this, I mean, this season has everything. Uh, I mean, a lot of things are different this year, but there is one thing that's not very different, and that's Michigan getting destroyed by teams like Wisconsin. Wisconsin just went out there and completely destroyed them. And they, I, I guess you could say they have a bye week be, or had a bye week before this game because their last game against Purdue got canceled. Michigan's just awful. They're just like Penn State at this point. <coughs> Again, it's going to be interesting to see exactly who is going to get fired first, Harbaugh or James Franklin, because at least James Franklin, this is his first year of actually doing terrible it's not even that Michigan's terrible, though. It's just every single year they go out and lay an egg in some games, and it costs them any contention and basically anything relevant. So, I, 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 I don't know. I really don't. Northwestern over Purdue. Picked that one, too. Uh, and then NC State over Florida State. And then finally, Ole Miss over South Carolina. Now, Ole Miss... Uh, this was a good game to watch. In my opinion, Ole Miss versus South Carolina might just be game of the week. That was a fun one to watch, and there you have it. So that those are all the games of the week, all the ones that we covered in the podcast. Any others that I really didn't cover were probably not that relevant anyway, uh, including, I believe, Washington, Oregon State. And if I'm right, Washington's just going just gonna to blow them out of the water. <sighs> Well, yeah, that wraps up this week, so I'm sure, uh, I probably, again, I probably won't be making too many videos, 
in regard to college football since I'm working on bigger projects, but uh, I'm willing to guess that Auburn is going to be rolling, uh, and they're going to be we're going to be playing them next upcoming week. So I got to make a hype and hate. I I can't. I can't just stop making hype and hates because our team suddenly sucks again. I just, I mean, I can't. I'm going to make a hype and hate for every team that we play. And I was getting ready to make one for Texas A&M before it got postponed. So, I mean, we might see the same thing against Auburn. Uh, if, if we do, it spares me the trouble of having to make a hype and hate video. Just so we could go out and have the same offense that we had week one. Because, uh, I mean... I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. Uh, I'd like to pick the Vols to win this one. And this might be the first week in the Squid Tar podcast that I do pick my team to lose. And I don't want to do that. But, eh. you know, I'm just so tired of seeing us take massive L's. And there's nothing I've seen that will make me think that we are going to go into Jordan Hare and win. I've seen it before, obviously. You, you guys have seen me around. You know, the whole, uh, where's, where's the trash can? Yeah, the whole, uh, y you know, the whole who is the trash can now thing. But that was a lucky win in 2018 against an Auburn team that went 7-5 and five and got blown up by Mississippi State prior to playing us. You know, Auburn's probably not, I mean, Auburn's not that good this year either, but a hell of a lot better than we are. My, my, my question is, and I'll just wrap this up here. I've heard from many insiders and many fans alike that the reason Harrison Bailey isn't playing yet is not because he's a freshman. It's because German Ammo is actually the best quarterback on the team. So it makes it even more of a head-scratching decision on my part. Not because I don't think that JG is capable of doing anything this season. But because Cheney, again, is too scared to throw the ball. And it wouldn't be much of a problem to me if we actually had a run game, which we don't that we don't have that either. I mean, like I said, at this point, whatever happens, we run it up the middle 600 times and lose by 40 points to our Auburn next week. I won't come out here and yell and scream because at this point, it's not like it's I mean, it's not like it's not going to happen. It's my expectation. I didn't expect us to choke to Georgia. I didn't expect us to get blown up by Kentucky. I didn't expect us to get absolutely washed in the second half against Arkansas. But getting blown out by Auburn, I expect that. I just do. I'm sure a lot of others do. And, I mean, my only hope at the end of the season is that we somehow, some way, get a victory over Vandy. Because, listen, it would be unbearable for me to have to go through a year of the mama ma. All right? Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. All right? Went through, well, I mean, I went through a whole straight year of the mama ma. I haven't dealt with that this year. But now that Kyle Schumer's back, Schirmer, Schumer, I don't really care. I mean, I had to hear the mama ma. So do not, do not, do not let me have to hear that. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this thing up. 
I'll put more. I'll put more thoughts. I'm. I, I mean, I'm sure I'll have more thoughts once we actually reach the game. I'm sure you'll hear a lot from me, and I'll probably just be chanting the same freaking thing that I've been saying all year. Because literally, we haven't made any adjustment on the field since game one. So. In fact, I, I can't remember the last time we made an offensive adjustment. All right, well, I'll wrap this thing up here. But uh, Jim Chaney, I highly doubt that you're going to have any game plan other than uh, run up the middle three times or let Jared, Jared Garantano throw downfield and let the ball get intercepted because that's what we've been doing all game. And Jim Chaney, Jim Chaney hasn't had a different game plan since he got fired from Georgia. All right. There's worse than being a Tennessee fan. It's it's better than being a Michigan fan right now. It's better than being a Penn State fan right now. It's better than being I mean it's probably better than being a Vandy fan right now. Uh, which is why the Mumma has nothing to lose. Constantly talking about how we're gonna, they're going to beat Tennessee. It's the same reason why I come out or why I came out and told us that we we're going to beat Alabama. Okay, but you came here for a recap, not to hear about me uh, having a little pity party about how our team sucks. Which I mean, you are, I mean, you already know that's true. Then all the things I've been telling you are things you've already heard or already know. So, that being said, uh, I'm sure I'll see you guys next week. Uh, even if our game gets postponed, I'll still come out here and make these videos. Uh, make sure you tune into the main channel too, because I'll probably be posting a lot more on there as well. Uh, I think I can go ahead and wrap this thing up. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, as always... Thank you guys for watching, if you watched through the whole thing. And, uh... Power to Tardaria. Beepity.